<laughs> Kia ora everyone. This <laughs> Facebook Live is brought to you with the support of my um, my lighting um, my lighting support crew, <laughs> Grant Robertson over up. here and Kelly. Just because it is very dark in this um, van right now, um, we've just <laughs> looking slightly devious there. <laughs> Popped up behind me. Look, we'll Sorry. just include you officially. No. Oh, do you want me to come in? Yeah, okay. come on Sorry, in. I was only come here on for in. lighting. <laughs> come on in. Um, so we've just arrived in um, in Invercargill. Day started though up in Wellington. You were in. I started the day in Waipukuro and yep. then Danny Burke and then Masterton today. Uh, you were with uh, Kieran McAnulty um, doing a series of announcements. We were just talking on the plane about uh, some of what we're seeing and reading about the redeployment um, uh, fund, uh, which is supporting uh, workers who have uh, lost uh, work or recently unemployed into new fields of employment. You saw some amazing things I today. did, yeah. yeah um, brilliant stuff in Waipukuro and, and big congrats to the central... Hawke's Bay Council there who've done a great job in supporting people to train and retrain and um, you know people getting driver's licenses, people getting other uh, health and safety certificates, traffic management certificates that are helping them get other work as well as training in, in the core area they're doing which was vegetation removal using yep. chainsaws. It was brilliant. Fantastic and that's fantastic. I saw some examples being written up where I've just been um, last couple of days in uh, Tairawhiti, so really similar stories coming out of there, which is which is great. Um, so I started my day in um, Gisborne, but we find ourselves here now in Invercargill. Bit of a stop for us where um, I set out uh, our COVID uh, resurgence plan. You know, essentially every country in the world almost that New Zealand has been replicating some of its COVID response around. Uh, countries that have done well um, to either eliminate or get COVID cases right down have been res experiencing resurgence. So this is a plan that just sets out and gives a bit more certainty to the public and to our business community around what we would do in that event. Now, of course, we continue our stringent border controls. We continue all of those measures to prevent that from happening. But at the same time, uh, it, would be, uh, it would be foolish to rely on perfection or the assumption of perfection which is why we're working so hard to have those additional plans in place in the event that that happens in New Zealand. Big take home though if you don't have time to read the speech from this morning big take home there is that we would move to a low for a response dependent on the scenarios but if you're interested in that um, flick down to um, the post I've got on this page just below which has those details. But for now we're here um, in South and we're being joined by Minister Megan's, Megan Woods. We also have Minister Jones here um, for a series of meetings. Obviously critical for us to be down here at the moment given the announcements that we saw uh, last week um, out of uh, Rio Tinto and uh, that affect um, TY and the smelter here which of course number of um, uh, jobs reliant on the smelter and obviously that decision uh, uh, that they will be um, looking to cease operations in August of 2021. Really critical in our view that we're down here talking right. with people on the ground uh, uh, around that decision and the role that we can play in supporting the local community. Yeah, and just hugely important, I mean, I know this is a really distressing time for a lot of people down here. You know, this is a, uh, a, a business that's been here since 1971. Mm -hmm. uh, it does employ around a thousand people and others who have direct, uh, sorry, indirect uh, uh, support from, yeah. from the people who work at the smelter. So we've just got to work our way through. I mean, the commitment we've made is we will be here for Southland to help create new economic opportunities, new job opportunities, um, Rio Tinto have made their decision and obviously there's some you know, work to do around how that will be finalised mm. but our focus really is on making sure that we're here for the people of South and so many opportunities too, you know, I mean in the in industries that are already here agriculture, aquaculture manufacturing, but also potentially new opportunities um, when the smelter does go, so I know this is a tough time but we want to be here talking about how we support this community going into the future to continue to have really good paying jobs here Yep, absolutely. And so that's obviously there's a time frame now that's being set out really critical that we move quickly to work alongside the community and the time frames that we have to make sure that those opportunities are being explored really 
uh, really rapidly um, for uh, alongside the community here as well. So, um, series of meetings tomorrow uh, with the Economic Development Agency here, with the um, local mayors, um, and of course we also have some infrastructure announcements tomorrow that actually will generate an quite significant number of jobs here already as well um, and that's as part of our COVID recovery and response. So I'll post a bit more detail about some of that um, tomorrow. Um, in the meantime I think we're getting a bit closer to our accommodation. Thank you for joining us on this quick live, this little forgive my um, shaky camera work um, <laughs> as we move in the van. Um, thank you to the lighting assistants of, hey. of Kelly over here, thank you for that. Um, you didn't want to see what the shot looked like without um, uh, uh, lighting. So thank you everyone for jumping on and joining us for this quick Facebook Live. Again, um, if you are in this region, I will be posting more details around some of our announcements tomorrow, but also some of the outcomes of those really important discussions that we'll be having with the local leadership here. Oh, and we've arrived. Thanks everyone. Have a great night. Kaki yeah.